What is up guys, my name is Freyas and today we're gonna be talking about the optimal CSGO config for 2017. Is there one and should you worry about your config at all? Today we're gonna find out and hope you guys enjoy the video. So let's just start out the video with the video settings. A lot of people ask this for professional players or just other players in general or streamers. Um, the only thing that I think is important is to just put everything on low. There's no reason to have anything on high. It's just bad for the game itself and it doesn't look good and it just makes it choppy. And you should also put the multi-core render on enabled. I also recommend playing in full res because you do not have the 4.3 resolution which makes you have black bars or if you stretch it you kind of just lose some of your screen. It doesn't matter though because obviously as you can see a lot of pro players play with 4.3 so it's just personal preference but if you're new to the game I'd r highly recommend you playing full res. Don't get used to 4.3 if you're all not already used to it. Usually the reason why pro players play with 4.3 is because they're used to it from older versions of the game like CS Source or even CS 1.6 and there's no reason for them to change now. There's no significant advantage of playing 4-3 or full res, so you should just stick to what you're used to and enjoy yourself with the game. The next thing you should do is just go on to Steam, download this view model map from the workshop. This is just an easier way to do things and I personally prefer this and I think you guys would enjoy this too, so that's why I'm recommending this. I also highly suggest you to put view model movement on lowest. Anything else you can just play around with here and see what you like and do whatever. The next big thing a lot of people ask is crosshair, which is 100% personal and just whatever you want. You can play with whatever crosshair you choose, but I, I really suggest you to learn these lines right here. See all crosshair size, the gap, thickness, and draw outline and color. Basically what you do is just to put these lines in the console and put a number after the line itself. It's gonna get it, give you a suggestion the current one that you already have. So let's say crosshair color. If you don't know it already, you can just play around with it, see which color five is or whatever, and draw outline. It's either zero or one. You can probably put 0.5 in for a thinner outline as well. And gap as well. You just play around with number from numbers from zero to like around four or five even. Real quick, I'm just gonna show you how you adjust the digital vibrance of your graphics card. This is for NVIDIA. All you do is right click down right on control panel choose adjust settings and then go to digital vibrance put it on whatever you like a lot of people have it on everything from 70 and all the way up to 100. I tend to see a lot of people ask how you can change the color of your HUD so basically what you do is just go into game settings and here you can simply just change to whatever color on the list under the HUD color section so hope that helps. I thought I'd just leave that in the video so if some of you didn't know already that's that and uh, if you knew already that's whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like if you did and uh, as always have a good one.